Hey everyone, so we're here at my house. I think this might be the first video that we've shot here at my house, and the reason that we're at my house to shoot this video is I am finally getting my own leap habitat for some frogs. We haven't decided what kind. I'm thinking I'm gonna go tree frogs, maybe white tree frogs. But we're gonna show a build video because we know that uh, they're fun to do and get to see a new way of planting these. We've got Hillary here, she's just off camera. She's gonna help with the build video and uh, see what we can come up with and find a cool place in the house and show it in an actual living room instead of just a reptile room. So let's get started. So obviously step one, build your leap habitat. Now we have done more than a couple of videos of how to build these. We did the build off between Tim and I. So we're not gonna show the whole thing with all the tips and tricks. So let's just use some movie magic to fast forward through all this, right David? All right, so here's where we're at on the build. We built the habitat, obviously. We put our drainage layer in and our first layer of substrate of our leap living earth. And then we were trying to figure out exactly how we wanted this thing to look. And we went stick hunting and cameraman David, thank you cameraman David, found this excellent stick. And then we had the idea, well, how about since leap habitats are modifiable, we can actually suspend a potted plant against the corner of the habitat using our stick. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that real quick. Uh, I'm gonna grab our uh, screw gun and we pre-placed the screws just so we knew we were lined up. Careful, careful, careful. We're gonna hold this against there. We're just gonna screw in. We're gonna try and screw in. Uh, so can you actually hold that hill? Oh, I gotta put the right bit in. Time out. Okay. There it is. So there's one screw in, that's gonna hold it on the side here. And then we're gonna use another screw from the back to hold it back, and that should, because of this nice little bend in our beautiful stick that David found, hold this potted plant right here, nice and secure. And no other habitat can you just drill into the side of and mount things. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna start at Hill, if you could. Can you see it coming through? Let's see, how is it? There it is. So just like that, we literally mounted a potted plant to the side of our habitat. And we're gonna come up with some cool misting ideas, I think, so that this thing actually even self waters, but we'll get there in a little bit. So let's, look at that. I mean, that's- That's, that's solid. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> that's cool. Um, this is why this is cool. We just came up with that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really excited. These are my first frogs I've had since I was a kid, and I'm just really excited to give them a cool habitat. Um, so Hill, talk about what plants we're putting in here. So, and get me off my excitement train. <laughs> Again, as we were talking about earlier, we're gonna start with the bigger, taller plants towards the back of the enclosure. Over in this corner, like the taller plants are gonna be in the back and then the shorter plants are gonna be in the front. And what plant is this one? Uh, this is a Dracania. Ah yes, the Draco Malfoy plant. <laughs> So again, what I like to do is you place the plants first and then we're gonna put our additional layers of living earth on top of it to, to solidify them in. I'll get that out of your way. So we are still waiting on a few additional features for this enclosure too. We're going to be having a, a nice water dish for these frogs and then we're going to do a waterfall for them as well in the corner back here. We are awaiting delivery of uh, both of these things. And, and the delivery, frogs themselves. Delivery of the frogs themselves So too. exciting news since we started shooting this. We took a little break, had to sit down, planned out how we wanted this to look and I ordered the frogs. Uh, so thanks to Josh's frogs, I picked up some White's tree frogs. So that's what we're gonna go with in here because um, I think they're really cute. Back to the planting. So, okay, tell me what plants we have here, Hill. Uh, arrowhead plant. I, I honestly don't know the name of this pink one, but it is providing a nice pop of color that we like so much. Oh, that's a rosy maiden hair fern. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one. This that's one an arrowhead. Unlabeled. Unlabeled. We like it. It looks nice. And like we talked about in our planting video, I think it might be the previous video that we released, if you go check that out, 
I like the way it looks. Like these are tree frogs. They're not gonna spend that much time down here on these plants. So plant stuff that you like the way it looks. And when we were at the store, I said, eh, I like the way that looks. So that's why we got it. More stick. More sticks, locally sourced, ethically. <laughs> Mine is David hopping a fence to pick it up, but you know. <laughs> Humanely sourced sticks. <laughs> Back to it. So since we're on the train of mounting things to the side, cause we can, I think we're gonna put this guy right here. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a perfect spot. And I will say we brought we brought a lot of uh, materials with us from the lab, but I'm really liking these locally sourced sycamore bits that we found in your yard much better. Thanks, my neighborhood. <laughs> there it is. How easy was that? I mean, that's that's solid. That's solid. I'll put one more in just so it doesn't like roll or anything, but it's not going anywhere. No. Going just a little lower than it, same spot. There it is. <laughs> cool. All right, what's next? That looks great. <laughs> yeah, with this guy going growing through the back of it. Oh yeah. Some more sticks because yeah. again, they are tree frogs. They sure are. And this is kind of the fun part too about finding all of your own materials outside. It's uh, playing stick Tetris, like just figuring out where everything fits. So that'll be the only non-natural, kind of like not bioactive, is it's gonna have a little tabletop waterfall because I think it looks cool. So if you guys have uh, ideas of kind of replacements or things like that, let me know because that's part of the fun is doing this as a community. Like, hey, toss me an idea how I can do it better next time. So what do we got, Hill? If I may, while we're here. <laughs> the best part of any My build. My favorite part. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what else, what else? Do we have any other plants we can toss? Oh, sure. We have some more pothos over here. I feel like we could do, I wish we had a nice little, like, little plant for here. In, like, back corner? Yeah. And then right here, let me measure it out. Waterfall will be right there. And then you'll have your water dish right here. Grab the old tape measure here. And Let's again, this has been such an easy, fast process. It's not a day project. It's not gonna take you hours and hours to do. We've been doing this for maybe an hour. With a break to order frogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. All right, so we have everything where we want it. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good here. I think it might be time to do our next plant. layer of... Yeah, to fully plant. Yep. All right, I'll send it. Smells good. It smells like living earth. Again, this is just another like personal preference thing. I like to have it like scaped as well coming down this way. So I like to have more, more earth in the back just to add some extra dimension to the enclosure. Did we lose that ground stick you put in back there? Pull him out, put him back on top. Yep. yep. Ground stick. I think that's pretty good. How many bags are we at here? Three? That's four bags. Four. Yeah, four bags is plenty for an enclosure this size. There's a nice little flat place for our thing and then our other uh, thing. Okay, and then let's do our little, our little touches. So we have our uh, leaves, just for added realism. Yeah. And it'll be so fun too, once this all grows in, it really becomes alive. It's, it's gonna look different in a, like a month. So I know this is a little bit of a longer video, thanks for bearing with us, but this is the entire process to actually build one of these. We wanted to show you basically real time a leaf habitat being built. Um, so from here, what we need to do is decide where in my house it's gonna go. Uh, and then we will hook up our mister, our fogger, and our lighting, and we'll show you that once it's in place. So we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we'll do the rest of the uh, stuff that needs to go into this. So you may notice it's a little darker than when we started the video outside. Uh, we kind of had to rearrange my entire living room and figure out where my furniture was gonna get moved to so we could make this happen. But here it is. I am so stoked on having this in my house. It looks awesome, of course, in my humble opinion. Um, we do have the uh, standard LED as well as the UV light on it. We've got our fogger and our mister 
And a cool little thing that I did, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna route the wire better. I think I might just go through the side of it. Is I actually hooked it up to a hygrometer that automatically turns on and off my fogger. So anytime it gets below 73, uh, I think it's set to 70% relative humidity, automatically kicks that fogger on, brings back up, and as soon as it hits our 73 target, it turns it back off. So it's little things like that that you can really do to just automate this, make it its own living area. So I want Hillary to say one more time kind of why she went through like the plant placement and everything else, how you saw this for a white street frog. Oh, I mean, stylistically, I think we have completely outdone ourselves with this one. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorites. It just came together so well and just the, the fact that we are able to customize it so easily and so quickly and like we kind of just did all of this on the fly. Like we didn't have a plan for this no. going into it and it just came together so nicely. We found these sticks in your yard. We were able to drill easily through the sides of the walls. Like it just happened so organically. And now this is what it looks like. Look so. at this result. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to watch. As always, um, this was a really fun build to do, especially because it's at my house, so it's super personal. And uh, we'll be doing more of these soon, I think. So thanks for joining us.